Hello everybody and welcome to Shop Smart Eat Well. How are we today? I'm just um, trying to get this um, tripod thing in place. That looks okay, I guess. Oh. Hope you weren't April filled this morning, uh, being the 1st of April here in Australia today. Um, I'm just going to give everyone a couple minutes just to get on live and join me and don't worry if you're not catching this live um, you'll be able to catch the replay um, I'm just going to check in my group on Facebook to see if I'm um, in the group and not in my personal feed which is um, sometimes often the case and yes I am um, say hi if you're here watching or if you don't catch it live um, just let me know you've seen it and type hashtag replay and let me know that you've seen it it's always good to to know who's watched and and who's um, seen the live so um, thank you for joining me today I'm Ann Murphy from Dome Explicity and I just wanted to go over a bit of a review of what I did in the month of March to achieve my goal of $250 um, grocery spend. So um, I saw a lot of um, a lot of you did really well in reducing your grocery um, spend for the month. So that was uh, really fantastic. Hi, Erin. How are you today? Um, thanks for joining. Good to see you here. I love the look of those um, cinnamon scrolls and scones that you've um, posted. Hi Nisha, nice to see you here. Um, it's cool enough here in Brisbane to bake again, so I'm really motivated to do some more baking. It's just been so hot lately, I just haven't had any interest in, um, in baking. I've got a whole heap of passion fruit to use up, so um, <clears throat> there's some really yummy things coming. So let's get started. Um, I want you to know too that I've got a special little surprise for you at the end of this, um, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> um, I've got a special little surprise for you um, at the end of the broadcast, so stay stay with me and I'll let you know what that is. So um, let's go. So um, the exact amount that I spent for the month was $245.95, so um, even a couple of dollars um, shaved off of that. And um, I guess I could say it was easy, you know, it um, was just a change of mindset for me and I am lucky, I guess, in a way that I've I've learnt the hard way on how to be a little bit more frugal with uh, what I buy and what I spend due to being a single mother when my marriage broke down back in 2012 and there was just myself and the two kids here and, you know, you've got to pay the mortgage first and the bills and... Um, you don't have a lot of money left over for groceries. In some weeks, it was only $20 that I had. So I always made sure the children had fruit and food for school and, and that sort of thing. So I know what it's like. Also, back in my, my 20s too, you know, sharing a, an apartment with my sister, you know, we always had to make sure that we had enough money to go out um, partying. And we just used to keep a, a good supply of rice, frozen vegetables and tin tuna just to keep us um, alive, I guess, back in those days. So I guess I have had a little bit of experience in um, being a bit um, frugal. Hi, Barb. How are you? Good to see you. Um, so I just want to share a few tips of how, uh, like what I did and how you can change your mindset as well and adapt to this new way of um, grocery shopping. I guess you don't have to go as low as what I do, but like I said, even just shaving that $25 off per fortnight gave me an extra $50 at the end of the month to go and treat myself to a pedicure, which I think I'll, I'll get done tomorrow. But whatever it is, uh, I know some women were saving for um, to put towards holidays, interstate holidays, cruises. I think one of the ladies is in um, WA and she's saving for a cruise and you know, I guess when you change your mindset and you set yourself a goal um, to save so much by the end of the month or the end of three months, 
it kind of motivates you even more to want to stick to it. And one of the, the best things to do is just to go grocery shopping on the days, on your regular days. You know, avoid those little pop-in shops that you do for just that one thing and it finishes up costing you $50 because that's going to blow your budget out forever. I know I can do it as well. It's just so easy to do it. Um, you know, you might think, oh, I just need another loaf of bread just to see us through. Well, when you get to uh, realise that there's so many other substitutes for bread that you can easily make at home, which I think I did post um, in the group, you know, make the kids some pancakes or crepes or, um, you know, you can make a really simple uh, loaf of bread, an Irish soda bread just with flour and soda or a, a damper even can be made in the oven. Um, you know, so there's so many different ways that you can get by. Hi, Sarah. Good to see you here. Um, yeah, so just always think I'm going to stick to this budget. I'm not going to um, veer from it. I'm not going to drop into the shops. I'm going to see what I can um, use up at home or what I can substitute with. And really, it will really help you stick to those um, budgets. So um, in changing your mindset, you start to think about buying less. Okay, so um, you might spend $250 per week normally. So you know, you're so used to just grabbing the same old things and, you know, however you shop, whether you think, oh, well, I'll buy meat for the five nights or I'll buy all these vegetables. Well, if, when you start, when you're on a budget, you, you start to think about buying less. So you might not buy as much meat. You might not buy as much fresh vegetables. You know, you'll you'll think, um, what have I already got at home that I can, can use? Um, you'll buy cheaper. So if you are a real... I, don't, I use this word lightly, I guess, a brand snob. You know, I've, I've been a brand snob and I, I still am. You know, I love Farmer's Union Greek yogurt and a few other things. But, you know, when, you, when you're on a budget and you're, you know, whether you've got the choice to really save or whether you are in a predicament where you need to, to save, you know, buy those cheaper brands just to, to see you through. Um, buy different to what you normally do. So if you normally buy the ready-made um, fish cakes. I've seen you can buy fish cakes. You know, think about buying the potatoes and the tuna to make them yourself. Or um, think about what else do I already have at home that I can, can utilise. you just got to start changing your mindset a little bit. And there was one week that I went shopping, because I, I just do it religiously the same way all the time, and I guess I can always um, gather... How much I'm going to spend but there was one week where I actually got the calculator out on on my phone because I think I had $32 left something ridiculous like that and I just wanted to <clears throat> get the absolute bare necessities that I needed and I just didn't want to go over that so I went around with the calculator and you know if you're buying fruit and vegetables by the weight you know use the scales and and try to um, guess how much that's going to be and, and type it in. I had a packet of $2.50 bread rolls in my shopping trolley and I thought, no, I'm not going to, um, no, well, I was adding it up and it went over the $30 and I went, oh, you know, I really do need eggs because eggs I can use as a protein in a meal where the bread rolls, you know, I could substitute with sliced bread or, you know, I had other um, bread products in the freezer like a Turkish loaf and some Lebanese breads. So I just put the, the bread rolls back. So, you know, you've got to start thinking about, um, you know, even buying a little calculator separately and going around, you know, who cares who's watching? You know, this is for you. This is for you and your family. And it's going to just help you um, save that money and use it for better things. You know, use it for holidays and, and treat yourself and, you know, go and splurge on a new on new bed linen, bed linen for yourself or, you know, whatever it is. Um, better in your pocket than it is the supermarket so and you can still eat well like <coughs> pardon me if you looked at all of the photos that I shared for the month of our evening meals you know we ate pretty well I, I think you know some nights was a bowl of spaghetti um, with some toast or um, you know I had no complaints from the family even the um, 
vegetarian shepherd's pie that I made. I was a little bit, I've used lentils before to ex extend say a spaghetti bolognese mix. And you know, I was reluctant to um, hear what my husband's um, reaction was. And he had two helpings, helpings of the shep vegetarian shepherd's pie. He just absolutely loved it. So, um, you know, you just never know and, until you try these things and, you know, save the money for yourself. So um, the first thing I did, I guess, what I normally do before I go shopping, I know the, you know, when I run out of something, I, t I write it on my list. So I just did a double check of everything that I had um, in my pantry, fridge and freezer. So I did a bit of a stock take. And yes, I saw that I had a lot of frozen vegetables and I had fish products like fish fingers and fish fillets and, um, you know, what I had enough flour or sugar or whatever else it was. So... Um, you know, do your stock take first, um, decide on your budget. Um, like I said, I don't meal plan. Um, that's what the whole Shop Smart Eat Well um, program is, that you just stock the food, the ingredients to make the meals that your family eat. And when I say that, you're probably thinking, oh, well, they don't want to have fish every night or they don't want to have um, chicken every night. If you've got those basic ingredients, you can make a variety, so many different things. You know, just you can go from Asian food to Greek food to Mexican, just with a couple of different spices or basic sauces or pastes or coconut milk or whatever. Just keep that basic pantry, um, those basic pantry ingredients stocked up and you'll always have a variety. It's just, it's how restaurants work. You know, they, they have their menu. And they just stock those ingredients. And, you know, some restaurants could even make, um, if they were an Indian restaurant, they could probably make a, um, a a normal chicken and vegetable meal without it being an Indian meal. Or if it was a Mexican restaurant, they could probably make um, pizzas if they wanted to. You know, you've, that's how the Shop Smart Eat Well program works. So... Um, Fruit and vegetables. I know a lot of um, people in Australia are suffering from um, the recent floods and droughts and fires, and um, so it's pushed the price of fruit and veg and um, meat up. So, if it is a little bit too high, the the products that you normally buy, think of buying uh, tinned fruit, tinned vegetables. You know, you can buy tinned potatoes, little baby potatoes that are are quite nice. Um, you can buy frozen vegetables. When I, I took advantage of the Woolworths 50% off um, freezer sale and I didn't even know you could buy frozen um, cauliflower rice. Not that that's something that I would normally buy, but, you know, there's a whole range of frozen vegetables. And when you work out the price per 100 grams, um, that's how you can compare um, the price to the fresh. So, just say broccoli might be $7.99 a kilo. That's um, per 100 grams, that's um, 79 cents, is it? 70 or 80 cents per 100 grams. Well, then you go to the, um, the freezer section and you check out the frozen broccoli and it could be $2.50 for 500 grams. So that's 50 cents per um, 100 grams if you follow my basic um, mathematics calculations so you're going to be saving a lot there and, and it keeps you know with fresh broccoli you've got to make sure you use it up really quickly with um, the frozen you know you've got it there for a month or a couple of months so that's what you do with that same with um, meat you know meat's really expensive and it's something that I'm really looking forward to buying I guess I didn't um, realize how much I did um, enjoy meat products but we ate quite a lot of fish um, this during this um, challenge so um, you know frozen fish fillets are still around seven dollars a, a kilo from Coles um, eggs you know you can make so many wonderful dishes with eggs quiches even a poached egg on top of a, a roast vegetable salad um, cheese you know you can use cheese as a good protein you know ricotta and spinach used in a lasagna with a roast vegetable layer or um, you know, halloumi, you know, it might be a little bit more expensive, but you could probably, um, like it's an expensive cheese to buy normally, but in comparison to meat, you know, you could make a really nice grilled halloumi salad or, um, 
you know, just adding cheese to a salad or whatever. Um, tinned fish, um, tinned sardines, tuna, salmon, uh, whatever, you know, you can um, get by by doing that. Uh, so I've um, talked about avoiding the shops. Um, go only on your planned days, your, your normal days that you go. Um, another way that I think um, has helped me in this challenge, and it helps me all the time, is I save everything. So any leftovers I save. And I always do double or triple amounts of rice or pasta when I'm cooking it because then I can just put it in the freezer and that makes for an easy meal. Um, I just put it in a container and then pour hot boiling water over it and then it defrosts instantly. Um, I'm not talking about saving the kids' leftover soggy cereal in the milk, but, you know, um, the leftover vegetables, you know, sometimes, like I don't mean take it off the kids' plates, but, you know, if you've got a little bit of leftover mashed potato, I even make double or triple mashed potato sometimes and keep that in the freezer because there's a quick meal to make um, tuna or salmon fish cakes. Uh, it's easy to just spread on top of a shepherd's pie. Um, you can use flaked fish to make fish cakes, Thai fish cakes, whatever with the mashed potato. You can, um, you know, make like bubble and squeak with all your leftover vegetables. Um, we had a lot of leftover cabbage and we made the Japanese um, pancake, which is really good, you know, just with a bit of grated carrot and it was a really substantial meal. Um, all of these little bits and pieces that you have left over, just keep them in little containers in the freezer and then, you know, go to those uh, leftovers when you're trying to put a meal together and um, it will really help you create another meal out of something that might have ordin ordinarily been thrown out and it'll save you buying more at the shops. Um, be inventive, be creative. You know, I don't use any apps for finding recipes or I'm a big fan of Pinterest and um, like going through um, my feed and saving recipes that I think um, might be nice, like the one that I shared, um, the apricot chicken um, that I shared the other day. You know, I saved that and I thought I might try that one night. But Google is really just all I use when it comes to um, finding a new recipe and like I made a citrus baked fish because I had a lime and an orange left so I just typed in citrus baked fish or I could have typed in lime fish I could have typed in um, citrus fish you can type that into Pinterest as well and you'll just get so many different um, ideas uh, you know be creative like I had a few tins of um, spaghetti in the um, pantry and I thought uh, you know like that's okay in a bowl or in a toasted sandwich or sometimes I'll serve it with um, bacon and eggs but I, I even did a search on how you could use tin spaghetti in uh, different things and there was quite a few um, different recipes for um, using them in muffins and and different things so you know try and be a little bit inventive and if it doesn't get well received by your family, you know, you've tried and, you know, it might be, a, I'd hate to think of it as being a waste, but, you know, if it means that you've got to eat them or whatever, you know, just try and be a little bit inventive while still catering to your family's tastes. Um, like some nights, we just had um, bowls of spaghetti or, or bowls of cereal, um, you know, your evening meal doesn't have to be this huge gourmet creation with, you know, meat and three veg and, you know, some elaborate Thai meal or whatever, you know. Um, at the end of the day when you're really tired and you, you try to use as little ingredients as you can in the quickest, using the quickest method possible, possibly that you can and just, um, you know, a toasted sandwich sometimes is just, is really good so don't think that every evening meal has to be this this huge big three course um, gastronomic affair you know you just um, do what you can use what you have and just make it easy on yourself um, like I said um, take a calculator with you if you are on a strict budget another thing that I wanted to just quickly um, finish on is buy the smaller size so just say you've, you've allocated a budget for the month and um, I did this one week 
we go through so much barbecue sauce here in this house, only by my husband, mind you. And I usually buy the big three litre <clears throat> bottle, which is about $5.50, $6. And if you are just trying to stretch your money a little bit further, just buy the smaller bottle for about $1.80. Or, you know, the toilet paper, just if you're buying the big 30 pack roll of toilet paper for 10 or $12, you know, buy the, the cheaper home brand um, pack of eight for, say, $2.50 or $3.50. Um, just just while you're on in the savings mode and um, setting yourself these um, this budget and you want to stick to it. So just think about buying the smaller lot. And all of the other things that I mention in the group all the time, you know, don't buy the cleaning products. Use basic vinegar and bicarb soda or um, use dishwashing detergent use water i use water in nearly everything that i clean with a microfiber cloth you know it comes up clean the microfiber cloth lifts all the grease and um you know i don't have any problems same you know home brand buy home brand that's another uh, great way to say so my little little if you've got any questions don't hesitate to ask i'm only too happy to um, help but what I wanted to um, give you all is a special little gift um, to thank you for being in the group. What I did was I um, took notes all the way through the month. I wrote down every meal we had. I wrote down what was in my pantry, fridge and freezer before I started um, doing this challenge in March. And every single ingredient that I bought and I formulated it into an ebook, which I'm selling in my store. But as a special gift to you, I want you to have it for free. I'm selling it for $9.99, but if you want it, if you want a copy of it, just drop me a PM, a private message with your email address and I'll email it to you straight away so you can see exactly step-by-step step, um, what I did. Nicolin, if you're watching later on, that was a little surprise that I had. She said she was going to be joining um, later today when she finished work and she was going to bring a notepad and pen to write down all of these things. So all of these things I mentioned today in this live broadcast are in this book, plus a whole heap of other uh, little tips and hints. And I want you to have it. I want you to save. I don't want you to be spending two and three hundred dollars a week on groceries when when I know that it's possible to get it done buy all these things cheaper so that's my little gift to you I um, hope you stick around in the group and I'll probably be doing my grocery shopping um, for the fortnight tomorrow back to $150 I like I've still got plenty like I'll, I've got plenty of food for dinner tonight I've got fish planned so you know, I'm already thinking of inventive and creative ways to try something different with the family um, you know, just try to create the variety. If you feel like you're not an inventive cook, you know, just like I said, type things into Google, type things into Pinterest and um, see what's out there, just using the ingredients that you have. And I hope you enjoyed um, the broadcast today. Please ask me any questions. If there's any, if you feel like you're not a um, confident cook, you know, please um, send me a message or, or type it in the group, a comment here. Um, whatever you like, things that you might like to see a demonstration of how, how I cook something in particular or how I make my muffins or I've got a lot of pears to use up so I'm going to be making some, uh, doing some baking using pears, you know, whatever it is, if you've got a glut of something, one of the ladies in the group had lots of potatoes so I gave her a few tips on different things to um, use for the potatoes and how to freeze them. So please, I'm only too willing to help you because I want to see you... Um, smash these grocery budgets and don't give the supermarkets any more money than you need to keep the money for yourself so that you can enjoy it for you and your family so thanks very much for joining me don't forget to um, private message me with your email address if you want this um, free ebook and um, i look forward to catching you in the group again thanks for joining me today everyone bye